morning, he everybody. It is Nofi Craft, also known as Alex. You can kind of call me either or, it's perfectly fine. Though I do prefer my first name, obviously, because it's my name, and to call me Nofi Craft all the time would be a little strange. Anyways, this is Minecraft 1.4.2, and I am planning to start a channel which is devoted entirely to Minecraft Let's Plays, Let's Builds, um, tutorials, if anyone has anything that they want me to show them, um, if you have any ideas of other things that could be added to this channel, please definitely let me know. You could send me a private message, um, post something in the comments. I look at both. I will try to respond to as many people as I can in as timely a fashion as I possibly can. So, what I'm going to show off today, and unfortunately because of the way that I have to record, I don't have any actual sounds from the game that I can show off, which will make starting a new survival let's play for everybody a little difficult. But the furniture tutorial I'll talk about a little bit later. I'm sure you're probably wondering about that. But what I'm actually going to show off is this legit survival, when I call it that, because it's literally the only legit survival that I've ever done. I have to get out of the habit of cheating and actually play the game in a relatively fair way. I could recreate it with cheats, but that's cheating. And I won't do that. So, play world. And this is my house. It's not very exciting on the outside, but on the inside I quite like it. This is my uneventful bedroom. I don't know if I'm going to put anything in here to stylize it a bit more, but it's slightly uneventful, except for at night I get to look at my clock. So a new feature of 1.4 are these item frames that you can display items in. They're pretty awesome. It's takes eight sticks and a piece of leather in the center, and then you would just place an item in there and you can display it like that. Over here are some trap doors and an actual door. In here is an iron bar and a lever for the pendulum, so when you're standing here it looks almost like it's a pendulum and you can't see it completely that it's an iron bar and a thing, so it looks kind of cool. And yep, trapdoor. That's an iron block behind that as well. So there's that. This is my balcony. Oh, it's getting dark out. And yeah, I, I built this specifically because this way if there's anything out there I can tell. Also, one thing to note, and I don't know if this is pre-1.4 because I never really tried it before, but let's say an Enderman is, Enderman is standing all the way out there, and you can see his, fa see his face. If your crosshairs go over his face, even at this distance, it freaks out. And before, Enderman didn't really um, bother me. But now, with the new sounds that came with the 1.4 update, they make this really horrific scream sound. And the Endermen are not cute anymore. Which is unfortunate, because I always thought the Endermen were adorable, and because they were kind of a neutral mob and less provoked, sort of like the wolves, I didn't really bother with them, and I thought they were kind of cool. And now that they're um, not cute anymore, it's, it's kind of sad. Um... Because that's what happened to me with the gas. Like, I thought the gas were absolutely adorable until I heard one scream at me and then it wasn't cute anymore. So, yeah, moving on. Um, yeah, what, anything that throws a fireball at you isn't particularly adorable. So, yeah. I, I like to have lots of windows. Not too many, but lots of them. So this is how I can see that's my garden, my pumpkins, and my wheat. If I could find carrots and potatoes, I would grow that instead, or at least half of that whole strip would be potatoes and carrots. It's actually a really great source of food, and I could finally be able to farm pigs, because I did find a um, amount of pigs way out there. No, actually, it's out that way is where the pigs are. So yeah, and that's my little cow herd. A new feature that I love is this, the flower pot. It's adorable. It's just so cute. So, it's a nice little decorative thing to have. This is my little 
crafting area and this is my crappy storage. In the beginning of survivals I always have a really messy storage so it's just sort of blah like that. And over here this is my food. I keep this. Rotten flesh is really great for if I can finally find myself a wolf and tame it because you can actually feed it to your wolves. I'm assuming that hasn't been changed with 1.4 because I haven't tested it out yet. But the rotten flesh will actually heal your wolf. So it's worth keeping. Just your character cannot eat it because that will poison you if you don't know that already about Minecraft. So my furnaces, my pumpkin. I finally got an anvil even though I don't have any diamonds to use it. I'll be down here. So in place of that torch will be a enchantment table. Building these bookcases, it takes so much more resources now with the 1.4 and 1.3 updates. It you need to use the leather instead of um the just the paper now and that just is so irritating <laughs> because it has made making bookcases much harder for me because it used to be I would build tons and tons of libraries and I can't do that anymore as quickly as I could before and that I find that to be kind of upsetting. I don't know how well you can see it but there's a uh, tripwire out there. So in the event that some stupid zombie decides to um, walk <laughs> to my door. If he walks to that, he gets shot with an arrow. I, I quite like that. I think that that's very cool. So that is that. Um, in any case, like I said, if, if you have any suggestions for other things I could put on this channel besides show arounds and other things, please let me know and I will happily do that. And any tutorials you want to see, any builds you'd like to see me do, legit or in creative mode, it doesn't really matter either way. I'm open to it. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Um, I mean, I only have one video, so if you don't subscribe, I, I understand. But like, comment, and I will definitely get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any suggestions, leave me a private message. And if I haven't said it already, like I said before, if you send me a private message, I will try to respond as quickly as I possibly can. Oh god, lag spike. So thank you very much, and this is Nofiecraft tuning out.